Hey guys, it's weekend, it's sunny, and I feel super unproductive, so I thought I'll just make a video instead. I want to talk about my daily writing routine. That means my writing routine when I'm working, like during the weekdays. Because on the weekends, I just feel like an unproductive bum. I came to think about this since it's a Saturday and I have nothing else to do. I could be writing the whole day, but I still didn't really do it. I mean, I wrote my daily word goal today, but I still feel like it's rather eh. And I, I mean, I, it took me longer than usual to reach my goal. And also I feel like I'm wasting time. And the thing is, I'm missing my routine, like my daily routine on the weekends, which is nice for other things. Like when you want to hang out with your friends or do other fun stuff. But when it comes to writing, it's rather distracting to me. So um, during the weekdays, I, I have a day job and uh, I commute to work every day with a train. So I have my fixed writing times and my fixed places where I sit and write. This is, for once, this is uh, at lunchtime, the office room I use to write. It's mostly the same, which means I'm quite comfortable in that space. I can shut myself out from all distractions and just focus on the writing. Uh, this is what Chris Fox also calls the tortoise enclosure or the sacred place in his book, uh, 5,000 words per hour. You need to find this sacred place for you where you can focus on nothing else but writing. And for me, that's the train and the office where I have my room to write during lunch hours. Mm, the second place and time I write the most and the most efficiently is on my commute home on the train. So on the train, there's like this one separate one seat place. I always sit, it's like you sit sideways but it's not on the normal four seaters or two seaters. So you have nobody sitting besides you peeking on your screen and you're like, I hate that. So I don't like when people like on the train when you sit next to somebody and you start to try to write something and they're like, you know, they might not be even looking at your screen, but you always have this, this, this fear of people reading your shit. Like, this is my first draft. Don't read anything. It's super shitty. What are you doing? So like you can't really let yourself go into the flow, into the creative flow of writing. So that's why I usually try to find this one seater spot. And that's where I get my most of my writing done during the afternoon when I go home, which is about like 40 minutes train ride plus 10 minutes where I'm early on the train. So it's like maybe 50 minutes writing time where I'm writing maybe like 700 words, which is still quite little like it's not that much as other people write like chris fox with his 5000 words per hour i'm like far from that but having a good writing routine is the first step to a more efficient and productive uh, writing time please let me know in the comments uh, if you have a fixed time or a fixed spot you always write in your couch your desk uh, a cafe let me know in the comments and uh, let's connect on how you write the best all right, that's it. I'm going to go back onto the balcony and enjoy, enjoy the sun a bit more. And I'll see you next time.